Hello friends. Hello. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm using my home's webcam and I still haven't got my hands on any good editing equipment so this won't be edited and it's gonna be really fun. But I just have a few little little funny funny stories to tell you guys. So first was this morning I was up but not really like I was still half asleep and I was having some really weird dream and like the times I could wake up in my dream were like 7, 7.30, and 8, and they were labeled A, B, C. And then, like, in real life, my dad came into my room and he was like, Hannah, what time are you getting up? And I just, like, rolled over and went, C? And then he was, like, really confused, so it made perfect sense to me because I was like, C equals 8, and so I was like, I'm getting up at 8. And so that was a fun way to start my morning. And then the fun continued when I went to go take a drug test, long story. Um, it's just um, regular routine stuff and I went I peed in a cup I had zero worries because I don't do drugs and so I was really surprised when the the guy who did the test came back and he was like um it's this drug test is telling me that you have PCP in your your system and that was like well okay first of all I don't know what PCP was my dad had to explain it to me when we were in the parking lot later and so I was really confused because I was like well that's really weird that I'd be just to have that in my system and no other drugs. And so I was like really confused. And the guy was like, no, it's okay. The This just happens sometimes. It's really hard to detect. And I was like, okay. And so I was walking out of there with my dad. And I was like, dad, what's PCP? And it was like angel dust. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and I was like, you think if I tested positive for that and like, like, people who I'm assuming test positive for PCP also have, like, a plethora of other drugs that they would test positive for, I'm assuming, because I don't think, like, like, people just don't start taking PCP, I'm assuming. I'm Like, usually people build up, like, a tolerance in their system of, like, lesser drugs, I thought, but whatever. And that actually is kind of, a, this leads me to another funny story of, like, the past two years of my high school experience, my high school does random drug tests and I've gotten called in like four times and I don't know why they keep choosing to ran randomly test me. It's really stupid but yeah I've gotten called in for like four and they always come back negative and I hate it because the first time I did it I had you know did my business and like the nurse guy was like holding my little cup of urine and he was like handling it while and he was like making small talk with me and I was like dude just stop. Like, this is awkward. <laughs> and so that was fun. Um, and another thing I was going to talk about during this video, oh yeah, okay, so I can't make any book reviews because of the crappy webcam situation I have, but I read a book, and it was really, really good, and it was called Escape by Carolyn Jessup, and you 100% need to read it, and I will talk more about it later in another video, but it's really, really good. And also, I don't know if I mentioned my webcam is green. Um, I don't know what's wrong with it. I <laughs> tried to fix it. My brother tried to fix it. It's really green, and when I Skype my friend Emily, she laughs at me, and it's sad. <laughs> but that's just how the world is sometimes. Um, I hope y'all are doing awesome out there, wherever you may be. I'm really hot here. I'm hoping to participate in a poetry slam next Thursday. It's at an ice cream social. I'm so excited to be getting back into that because I haven't done a poetry slam in, like, two months. So, yes, I'm excited. It's summertime. Ah!